can catch up. I'll fire it up. <laughs> it's more than time. I'll fire it up. <laughs> Guide my blade. to me. Guide my blade. Upswing. Huh. Upswing. Let's get this over with. Cool. Perfuse. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh- Wanna take a look? <gasps> yes! Please! Okay then, here you go! I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. Unfamiliar. 
yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Hiya! I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Yeah, the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Nothing. Please believe me. I'm just trying to treat you to a meal, since you're our super important guest and all. You'll see how we roll with our guests soon enough. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn him down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. Blessings grace your door, good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the lion dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Ah, uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, 
I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now, on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Ah, so you want to learn more about lion dancing. Well, I don't know much about it, but my grandpa has always been an invested fan. He's even friends with Mr. Wu Fang and Mr. Qi Sheng, who are sort of like advisors to the troupe. They often hang out at Lu Shan Tea House and chat over tea. Fun fact, those aren't their real names, just special titles that have been passed down over generations. But everyone knows them by these names now. Nowadays, they prefer to stay behind the scenes and provide instructions rather than be in the spotlight themselves. If you want to get to know them better, you might just need some good luck. Blissful union, endless delight, love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you, and this one here. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day, so... Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the lion dance officiant ceremony during our wedding. It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you, and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid, and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? And it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned. To the sky's edge, your fates entwined. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner is a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. The Lion Dance show for departing soldiers must mean a lot to him. Sheng, what do you say? Sure. I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. No problem. I'll wait to hear from you. Right. 
Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. Hello, Rover. What can I do for you? Oh, I know. The soldiers of Jinzhou have a special affection for lion dance. It originated from the ancient celebration of Taiping Musical, symbolizing success and a positive beginning. The lion dance troupe often travels to boost soldier morale, performing at front lines and military camps. Lion dance mixes boxing with dance, drawing from Huang Long's traditional martial arts for its moves. There is a folk belief that the lion dance's footwork, known as the Bugang Steps, originated from an ancient ritual that could exorcise evil spirits. Tread on the dipper's stars, and no evil shall escape. This is one of the reasons why people believe lion dance can ward off evil and bring good luck. When we see the lion dance troupe, we all hurry to watch. Not just for good luck, but to pick up some combat moves too. <laughs>